Hello researchers, as a researcher, we should always be updated. Okay, we should have a writing skill, reading skill, publication skill, like a uh, to the to write an article which is ready for publication and a fund applying for the fund. How you can apply for the fund, and what are the process will happen in the publication if you have submitted any paper or an article in a conference or a journal. So, what is the process in publication? and how your paper will be reviewed your article will be reviewed by the reviewers and how you can communicate something through the research as a researcher okay we should have all these capabilities okay one day those who have these capabilities they will be doing the research very efficiently okay while starting our research obviously we will not have all these ideas okay like how we have we can publish our article where to submit and how the process will take how long it will take anything we doesn't know okay in order to have some awareness about these things researcher academy which is created by elsewhere is the best place to know all those things okay so i will be posting this link in the description here you can see that what is research preparation okay this is the very basic step of every research as you all know how you can make yourself prepared and ready for the research okay so in this you have 16 modules and three topics you if you learn this you will come to know what are the things which you should be prepared for that and the next is writing for research what how you can write how you can format the format and how you can start and where you have to start where you have to end all these details will be known to you if you read this if you learn this particular topic which is writing for research and next is publication process what is the process of publication why they are taking the like why they are taking too much of time and why in few journals they are not taking a uh, huge time and what to whom your papers your articles will be sent over and how the process what is the process of these things so everything you will learn in the publication process and next is a peer review see as you submit your article in any journal or a conference at least to two to three person will be reviewing your paper okay you have submitted article or your uh, submitted journal will be you will be reviewed by two or three reviewers so what are all the criteria and what are all the conditions they will check in your paper in your article which you have submitted for publication okay like how the title should be how the abstract should be what are the things they are expecting in the introduction what are the things they are expecting in the literature review and how your method should be okay what are the references they'll be expecting fine so in another video i'll be telling you like what are the conditions the reviewers will be seen okay so how your paper should look like okay before that even if you learn this you will get some idea about how a peer review will be okay and the last one is communicating your research how you have to communicate your research with 13 modules and three topics okay so and apart from this you will know like what is the latest thing like building trust and engagement in the peer review how you can build and trust engagement to one who you didn't see who are seeing only your article or a paper you have submitted for okay and how to prepare a proposal for a review article so these are all the latest topics okay and even if you want to start learning you can start learning with the systematic reviews writing a persuasive cover letter for your manuscript make your data findable okay you have to make your data findable like what are the data set you are use, using and making academia industry collaborations work so these are all the other topics which are discussed in this elsewhere that is a researcher academy okay and these are all other things which you can see in the researcher academy let me uh, let me navigate you to the first thing first step of any research is the research preparation just click on it okay you can see these topic like as we saw like you have four modules okay 
so how to secure funding funding hacks for researchers successful research grant discover how metrics can boost okay you have these four learnings okay so this is for the first one a research preparation so once if you complete this you can go to the research re design research for design you have fundamentals of manuscript preparation writing skills technical writing skill and book writing skill okay and the third one publication process fundamentals of publishing finding the right journal ethics open science how to publish in premium journals okay this will be very very important for every researchers so almost you have to cover all these topics you have to read see this is a basic understanding okay for everybody a supervisor cannot sit and tell okay you have to start from here you have this much hurdles in between and then you have to complete this at the end because even they have all the works and they are just to supervise you they are not your teachers okay so you have to get involved in all the other research activities you have to look for every opportunities whatever the free learning source you have you have to make use of it okay so if you want to know more about how to write a research and how to write a book okay and uh, anything about the research and how to publish how to find a right journal for your topic okay if you are from data mining you can find um, how you can find the journal or the um, uh, that is which is relevant to your topic okay and you can also see uh, fundamentals of peer review how you can become a peer reviewer how you what are the qualities you should have and how you should see a paper like how you should look at the paper okay this is possible okay this is possible only if you uh, one day if you read all the articles wholeheartedly like the thing whichever you are learning which you are reading for your literature review you should know how to get insight from the abstract of us any individual paper okay so you should have these qualities you will find out once after reading this content you will come to know how you can uh, how you can make use of all the resources which you have now. okay i have just clicked the fundamentals of publishing so it is taking totally 3 plus hours of reading okay and um, you can see 10 reasons to get and use oic id so why you should need oic id what is the journal publication life cycle okay i'm just simply clicking one link for your reference okay the journal of publishing life cycle so here you can if you simply click here uh, it you, you have to access you have to sign in to access it okay that is not much big deal just go here and you can uh, click sign in you can create a uh, you can create a web like a, you can create your own account and log in okay so that is possible you can learn it so just make use of this resource and let me know how you have uh, get how you got more learning from this particular website please explore this and share it with everyone thank you take care bye bye